So if we're looking for when the particle is moving to the left and when the particle is moving to the right, and then when is it changing direction. So let's kind of put this into, um, let's go and put this into context so we can kind of better understand um, what exactly they're asking. So when the particle is changing direction, we know that the velocity is going to be equal to zero. And we know that when the particle is moving to the left, we know that the velocity is negative. And the, when the particle is moving to the right, we know the velocity is going to be positive. So first thing is let's define velocity. So x prime of t is equal to v sub t. All right, so we know that it is changing direction um, when v sub t is equal to 0. So let's figure out what v sub t is. So v sub t is equal to 2t minus 4. So when v sub t is equal to 0, we know that it is um, going to be changing direction. So we just say 0 equals 2t minus 4. Add 4 divided by 2, t is equal to 2. So we have 2 seconds, right? That's where it's changing. Now, as far as it changing direction, do we actually know if it's changing from positive to negative, negative to positive, or if it's just going from positive to positive? Couldn't it look something like this, like a cubic? It could, that could still be a 0. Like the cubic function, right? The cubic function has a 0 at 0. Like you can find that where the x-intercept is, but it actually doesn't change direction. It goes positive and positive, right? So we actually don't know yet if it's actually changed direction. Now, we do have a pretty simplistic equation here, which we kind of know is a parabola. And parabola is obviously change direction for velocity. But assuming that we didn't, we would still need to make sure we go through the work. So there's a couple of ways we could do this. We could do the number line test, kind of like the first derivative. So we have 0 possible changing direction, and then any number over here. And we could plug in you know, v sub 1, or we could plug in 1, and we could plug in like 3. So we know here at 2 it's changing direction. And we can just do v sub 1, because you know, with this problem it's not too hard. v sub 1 um, is 2 minus 2 is going to equal a negative 2. So therefore, that's negative. And then let's just pick you know, 3. Sorry, v sub 1. And then let's plug in v sub 3. And when we plug in 3, we get positive 2. So it's positive. So it is changing from a negative to a positive, right? And then, therefore, that is enough that we can look at and say, all right, the particle is changing now from 0 to 2. It's, going, it's moving to the left. And then from 2 to 3, it's moving to the right. We could also use inequalities. We could also say that um, if it's moving to the left, then 2t minus 4 has to be less than 0. And then we could just solve an inequality. 2t is less than 4 divided by 2 divided by 2. t has to be less than 2. But can we go all the way to like negative or something? No, because it says the time interval is from 0 to 2. So the interval is from um, 0 to 2. Is that what I write? t is less than 0. All right, yeah, 0 to 2. And then we could do the other set is 2t minus 4 is greater than 0. When t is greater than 2. So that would look like 2 to you know, infinity or greater on. You could just use that inequality. Okay. Now, the main important thing is when I talk about justifying, Again, we don't want to say it's changing from negative, positive, positive, negative. We want to, or just say it's changing signs. We want to make sure that we say that the particle is changing direction at t equals 2 seconds. since um, the velocity changes from negative to positive at t equals 2 seconds. I know I'm kind of rewriting that again, but you could say the velocity, the velocity is changing, the velocity um, And then the next thing is we could say that here, um, 
since the velocity is positive on the interval 0 to 2, or I'm sorry, negative, since v sub t is less than 0 on 0 to 2, the particle is moving to the left. And then here would be the exact same thing, which I have room. So since v sub t is greater than 0 on the interval where t is just greater than 2, I'll just leave it at that, the particle is moving to the right. Okay, It's a lot of writing. But I would recommend that you have that writing written down.